Hey guys, welcome back to Topless Baker. Now, April 22nd is coming up, which is a very important day because it's Earth Day, and Earth Day is important because it's about celebrating the environment, it's about celebrating peace. So it's a good day, it's a positive day. So what I'm gonna do is an Earth Day cake, okay? So what I've got in front of me is a round cake, which kind of looks like an Earth. It's a little bit lumpy, but we're gonna make it look like an Earth, I hope, okay? So the first thing we've got to do is make our buttercream, which is going to cover all of this, okay? So what I've got in my mixer is some very soft, unsalted butter, about 250 grams, and we're going to beat that for five minutes until it's very light and fluffy, and then we're going to add in our icing sugar in three stages, because it's an American buttercream, and we're going to add our blue and our vanilla so that it looks like the ocean. Okay, this looks like mayo now. It's so smooth. What I'm gonna do is add in about half of my icing sugar, okay? I'm gonna use about 450 grams of icing sugar in this. I'm gonna dump that in. Da, da, da. Oh, it creates a little smoke storm. And now this is gonna fly everywhere if we put this on a full speed, okay? So be careful, put on a low speed and just pray it doesn't cover you. Okay, we're okay. So you want to beat that for about two minutes on a medium speed once everything's combined. It'll be nice and light and fluffy, then we can add the rest of our icing sugar in. Okay, so when I added in my second batch of icing sugar, I just added in about a tablespoon of milk and some vanilla extract to give it some flavor. And now the most important part, because we want to have an ocean look to our earth. So I'm going to add in some blue food coloring. I want the ocean to be a deep blue, okay? And I'm just gonna stir this together to kind of incorporate it all. And then we can decide if we wanna add more blue or not. Now that's my kind of ocean, that's like the Maldives. Yes! Okay, so this looks good to me. That's like my dream ocean. If it was England, this would be green and you wouldn't be able to see beautiful colors in it. So I'm just imagining I'm in like Miami or something with this earth cake. So I'm gonna throw this into a piping bag which I fitted with a round tip nozzle, okay? So throw that in there. There we go. And then I'm gonna squeeze this down my bag and we're gonna pull over our cake, okay? So the recipe for my earth, my core, is in the description box, so you can download it and make it, okay? And what I've done is I've covered this in a bit of sugar syrup already, so sugar syrup is very important to keeping a moist cake. You guys know that. You watched my naked drip cake, okay? And I'm gonna create a layer of buttercream. So first, I'm gonna stick this guy down. Bop. In we go, and then we're just gonna spin this, and we're gonna create kind of a nice, even layer. And then once we've got that guy, we're gonna <whistles> stick the top of our earth, the northern hemisphere, the northern hemisphere, the northern hemisphere of our earth cake, okay? And we're gonna stick that on. Look at that. It's looking pretty good, guys. So now we're gonna give it a little bit of a crumb coat, okay? So I'm literally just gonna spin this, I'm gonna keep adding buttercream, covering it all over, okay? Until we've got a nice thin layer of icing over the top. And then once you've got this funny looking thing, you wanna spread this buttercream out, okay? And like I said, this is just a crumb coat. So don't worry about it looking like smooth or missing any gaps. You're just trying to catch any of those crumbs that are on the outside of your earth because we don't want a crummy earth. We want a peaceful, happy earth, okay? So just spread this around and just make sure you cover the whole cake. So that's pretty good to me. You can see it looks rustic, but it's fine. Now at the moment, this is too warm. If I start to try and design it, it's gonna melt. So I'm gonna stick this in the fridge or the freezer for like 10, 15 minutes, just to set up that buttercream a little bit. It is boiling in London and it is not good cake making weather. So I'm gonna go chill this guy down and then we can come back and finish our gorgeous ocean. Gorgeous. Okay, this is chilled. It's nice and cold, it's got a good crumb coat. So what we're gonna do now is kind of finish the ocean. So that means I need to add another layer of buttercream. And basically I'm gonna just use my spatula to kind of peek it like that. And that's just, I want that kind of wavy ocean effect because there is no way in heaven 
I'm ever gonna get a perfectly smoothed iced ball. I'm just not that skilled. So I'm just gonna do peakiness to give you waves. So I'm gonna just add more buttercream around the whole thing. And then we're just gonna start peaking it. That's my definition for creating waves. And starting from the top, you kind of just want to work this around again. Dun, dun, dun. Just creating that kind of layer of smooth buttercream again, okay? Right, so once I've got this kind of recovered in a second layer of buttercream, I'm going to make my waves. And literally, I'm just going to kind of take my palette knife and go pat, 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 pat all over the top, okay? So imagine there are just waves going on all over the world. There's just like waves everywhere, okay? So keep spinning, keep poking, and you're just trying to create like peaks, okay? Almost like you're creating peaks in a meringue. Just take this end of your palette knife and you're just kind of picking it up and down. Kind of looks like spiky hair. Okay, so we've now got this wavy world. We're surfing dudes, okay? There's waves everywhere. And now we need to create the countries to go on top. And I'm probably, I just need to admit off the bat guys, I'm not gonna be able to replicate all the countries. My drawing skills, down here. Baking, much better. Drawing and countries and geography, not good, okay? So I'm gonna try my best, and I feel like, I probably guarantee the countries are gonna be out of proportion. They'll be too big or too small. We're gonna figure it out, okay? So this is ready rolled green icing, okay? I'm not gonna even bother making icing. Get this stuff from the store, it's so much cheaper, okay? And I went onto my iPhone, and I templated some countries. Can you tell what country that is? That should be America. And this should be Africa, okay? So I've just created little templates which I've drawn out, okay? And what I'm gonna do is roll out my icing until it's kind of thin. And like you would roll a dough, like a bread, you would cover it in flour. When you're doing icing, you cover it in icing sugar, okay? And we wanna roll this guy out just to get it into any kind of shape. It doesn't matter because we're gonna cut around it and create what should like look like America and Africa. And then we're gonna roll this out until it's kind of that thin and we're gonna cut what I hope looks like America and Africa and maybe some other countries, but we'll see, okay? So I'm gonna put my country down. That is Florida. That is Miami, that's where we are right now. And I'm gonna take a knife and I'm just gonna really kind of carefully score around this fondant icing. And then when you peel this off, you should be left with something that resembles a spiky America, kinda. I don't know why Florida is so spiky and why New England's like that, but Anyways, you get the idea, okay? So I'm gonna repeat it. I'm gonna make a few more countries or shapes as I'm gonna call them. So I'm gonna keep cutting this out, keep rolling some fondant, and then we can stick them onto our surfy air. Right, so I started cutting out all the countries and I realized that I can't cut out individual countries. I need to do continents, okay? So I've got Africa, North America, South America, Australasia, Asia, everything, okay? It's not gonna be amazing, okay? I couldn't groove in between all of Mexico and all of South America, but it's okay, we got there, okay? So we're gonna start with North America. So we've got Canada, America, Mexico, all right? And we're gonna stick that here, okay? Stick that guy on, boom. Is that accurate? I hope so. And then below that, we are gonna put South America Okay, which kind of connects, doesn't it? There, like that. Oh my goodness. That looks legit. What I forgot to do was like the North and South Pole, but maybe we'll just stick on a big patch of green. All right, next, Africa. So we're gonna come round here, I think, with Africa. Boom, I like it. And now Europe. Now sillily, lilily, I did cut out England, but I can't find it. I think it was so small, I lost it. So I don't have England on here. But we're gonna put Europe kinda here-ish. So once you put on Europe and Asia, Spain kinda sticking out there, I'm gonna throw on Australia. I cut out Australia so badly, I don't even know where to start. I'm not even sure like what's north, what's south. So I'm gonna do that. 
I'm sorry, Australia, I did a bad job. So I'm gonna put you guys down here. So on we go with Australia. Now Hong Kong, New Zealand, I'm sorry. You were just too small, I couldn't fit you on. So I didn't fit you on, I'm sorry. And now we're left with a world which I will admit is, is gaping. But you have to remember that 70% of the world is covered in water. So we've got some lovely countries here, okay, on our world. And then we are missing a big patch, okay? That's probably the, the only issue with my Earth Day cake. But I need to add something up here because there's definitely bits up here. But I'm pretty happy with that. Considering I've never made an Earth Day cake before, there we go. So happy Earth Day, guys. I need to add another country on top. And just enjoy it, okay? Celebrate with your loved ones, celebrate with your friends, celebrate with people from different countries which are much more accurate than the ones that I've cut out. If you want the recipe, it's in the description box. Look, Bucks. I'll see you next week. Bye! Like, look like America and Africa, but we're not Paramount, I promise. I got that wrong.